Greg Mahoney, Bob Cryan. The University of Huddersfield is now the first university in the country where all its teaching staff are fellows of the Higher Education Academy. Craig, as the Chief Executive of the Academy, why do you feel this is such an important achievement? Well, for us it's a milestone in universities in the UK achieving this status. And we're delighted that Huddersfield, on our doorstep as a higher education academy located in York, has been the first university. So it's been a pleasure to come across here to meet with Bob and the staff, to chat with students and, and find the experience that they're now part of in having 100% of the staff here qualified to teach and fellows of the higher education academy. You are the first university. It's an aspiration that we have as a higher education academy that all academic staff throughout the UK are fellows. And so this is a small step toward that process and it's great to have a university that we can now work with, that we can profile with and that we can use to talk with other universities about the achievements that the Higher Education Academy wants to make with Huddersfield as our, as our great friend and great supporter. It's fabulous. Bob Cryan, this is a marvellous achievement in itself and as the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Huddersfield, it's one that you personally have been very passionate about. What message do you feel this sends potential students? Well, I think it's a very powerful message. and uh, You've got to ask a fundamental question. Why are we doing it? And it's very simple. It's because we believe our students have the right to be taught by the best. Right from my early days, I've felt it's wrong that students in universities are taught by people that have never actually been taught to teach. Now, under the Higher Education Academy, that's all changing. Under Craig's leadership, with his colleagues, we've created professional standards that really transform the expectations of staff and the expectations of students. And in turn, that means students are getting a better deal. And that's as it should be. And do you agree with that sentiment, Craig? Bob's encapsulated it very well, but I think it's important to recognise that many years ago, we didn't know much about teaching and the science behind it. We now know quite a lot about how to make people better teachers. And the point that Bob's making, and you've, at Huddersfield here you've led in this field, is you want all your staff to be outstanding teachers for the students, for the benefit of that student learning experience. We've got this knowledge, we've got these capabilities, so why not engender that by getting staff, proven to be qualified, have the fellowship categorisation, and therefore no doubt about looking in at the university, 100% of the staff are qualified to teach. Students coming here then know that they're being supported by staff who have got their interests at their heart. If you look at how Huddersfield performs in things like the National Student Survey, it performs extremely well because we've trained our teachers to teach. As a consequence, the students get far better support and that leads to really wonderful outcomes. So for example, Huddersfield is number one in the UK for assessment and feedback. And that's because we've had a, a major, major focus on what students actually want. We've also managed to secure more fellowships, national teaching fellowships, in the last five years than any other university. And that's because we've got a real focus on providing excellent teaching, just as it should be. And, and this idea of what students want is, is a huge one these days with uh, the changing in funding. Um, it, it, this is something that really should be taken forward uh, on a lot of other fronts, wouldn't you agree? I think uh, if we extend that, the key information set introduced this year uh, at the moment doesn't uh, indicate the number of staff that are qualified to teach, but it ultimately will do, and he's sort of tracking that data. So students making choices, parents and sponsors of students making choices to universities will look to the metrics that provide them with confidence, and one of them surely has to be that the number of staff that are qualified to teach is at or near 100%. How comfortable are you if you don't feel that your child, as they may be, uh, still referred to, but 18 or 19, isn't being taught and supported by somebody who knows how to teach. That would be a tragedy. So I think over time there's going to be a lot of pressure brought to bear in English higher education that sees universities like Huddersfield as the exemplar of what should be done and, and looking after the student being at the centre of the learning experience. And Bob, this is something that at Huddersfield you're hoping to take further, perhaps with doctoral qualifications for all teaching staff. How far have you got with that? You've got to ask a fundamental question. As a student, what gives this lecturer a right to stand in front of me and teach me? Where does that right come from? What makes them an authentic academic? And at Huddersfield, we've got three beliefs. Uh, the first belief is that you should be qualified to teach, hence the 100% fellowship of the Higher Education Academy. And I wouldn't underestimate the importance of that. Uh, we are the only university in the UK to achieve this. It's a major achievement. A lot of universities are way, way behind but it's down to the commitment we have to that particular strand of what makes an authentic academic. The second strand is about membership of a profession. Huddersfield is about preparing people for the professions. We offer, um, over, we offer degrees that are accredited by over 40 different professional bodies, 
be it law, be it accountancy, be it chemistry, be it engineering. As a student, if I'm being taught for a particular profession, I have a right to be taught by staff that are members of that profession. And that's something that we believe in at Huddersfield. So it's not just the teaching qualifications. Huddersfield is also leading the way in terms of ensuring that staff are professionally qualified. And then the third strand is the actual academic qualification. If I'm studying for a degree, I think it's only right and proper that I'm taught by somebody that has a degree better than I have. In other words, at least a master's. If I'm studying for a master's, I think it's only right and proper that I'm taught by somebody with a PhD. And this is something that Huddersfield is very, very strong at. We're very keen to make sure that students are taught by appropriately qualified people, that are members of the appropriate profession, and that are formally qualified to teach. And that ensures that students get a very good experience, and it's because of that that our students go on and get jobs. We're in the top 10 in the UK for graduate employability, and that's because we're giving our students a very good underpinning, and we're preparing them to become tomorrow's professionals. Craig, this is uh, something that you also believe that it's not just a hurdle that you achieve the once, but it's something that you can continue to achieve uh, throughout your academic career. The Higher Education Academy is committed to ongoing CPD, continued professional development, and we've created a framework called the UK Professional Standards Framework, and it's designed to allow, for example, students that Bob was just talking about studying for a PhD to reach a threshold at Descriptor 1, the lowest level, which is about building some skills for demonstrating, for tutorial support, and then for academic staff, and this is where Huddersfield has 100% at Descriptor 2, which is this threshold for teaching. If you're going to be in front of a class on a regular basis, Descriptor 2 is the expectation that we have of you, which is completing a, a postgraduate certificate or equivalent course or doing a recognition uh, best with us. But then there's Descriptor 3 and 4, which are for staff who are more experienced, who are into mentoring and into developing um, programs that support learning and teaching. And then Descriptor 4 is at the highest level for those who are probably at professorial or equivalent level in the support of the learning process. So we see this as being an ongoing career development. We want universities to put in place um, extensive frameworks of that sort, which mean that when an academic comes to a university, not only will they maintain their academic integrity, uh, their subject discipline area, their professional requirements of the bodies that they're associated with, but also too they're engaged with learning and teaching throughout their career. And there'll always be new things to learn about teaching because it's changing so dramatically, so quickly. There are 180,000 staff out there supporting students in higher education. To become a fellow of the Higher Education Academy is a signal that you take what you're doing very, very seriously and that you want to be recognised as a professional teacher. I'd strongly encourage all of those 180,000 to reflect on their practice and become fellows of the Higher Education Academy. It will benefit them and it will benefit their students and that's the most important thing their students will benefit from them going through that experience of reflecting on how they teach and that way the students will get a better experience. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.